Hi everyone, Dennis V on XT here again. And today, um, I got a nice little package in the mail, all the way from India. And uh, this is my Microbit X. I ordered it uh, a couple weeks ago um, from the good folks at HF Signals. And uh, it showed up today. Um, pretty happy about that. I've uh, been looking to get one of these for quite some time and uh, I just never got around to it and finally decided to bite the bullet uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, place the order. And uh, it's actually here a little bit earlier than I expected. Um, I had heard a few people on the <clears throat> on the reflector, uh, the BitX20 reflector, basically saying that uh, they were a little bit behind in the uh, production and shipment of, of these units, but it uh, looks like they're starting to get caught up and uh, I got mine today so um, you can see the bright yellow envelope um, they ship DHL Express I did pay the extra ten dollars US to get the uh, Express shipping because I don't like to wait and uh, the less I have to wait the better so that paid off I got here today and uh, I guess we're gonna go ahead and open it oh, um, the package itself is still sealed I did take out the uh, some of the identifying information here, um, just with the addresses and account numbers and stuff like that, on the shipping label. So we took that out, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, open this bad boy up. And of course, on the front, we have the packing slip. Just throw that off to the side. And here is the meat and potatoes. Ah, nicely sealed box. Let's cut the tape off. Guess we didn't need to cut the tape on both sides. Ooh. Now, this is interesting. This is a much better um, container than I expected it to come in. And here we have the box contents. One Microbit X board, one Raduino, uh, one by two pin connector for antenna, one pin connector for one by three pin connector for power supply. Two 8-pin connectors for attaching the Raduino to the front panel and the audio connections. One DC connector. <coughs> one DC jack. Three EP connectors. One chassis mounting female BNC connector. Eight uh, M3 half-inch brass standoff bolts and nuts. One 10K log pot with on-off switch for the volume. One EC11 encoder with push button. One push button for push to talk, one 2.2K resistor, one quarter watt, one 4.7K resistor, quarter watt, one 10K resistor, quarter watt, one 1N one 4007 diode, and one electric mic. So there we go. That's the little uh, bill of materials. And here we have a bag with a lot of these components in it here. This would be the Raduino unit with the, um, you can see the uh, Arduino uh, board here, um, which is attached to this uh, 16 by 2 LCD. Um, I've seen a lot of people um, mention on the reflector and elsewhere online that uh, they've been swapping out these uh, LCD panels for like a higher quality OLED or something like that and we may do that eventually but uh, here we have the Arduino Nano um, solder and everything on and for those who don't know um, this micro bit X is an 80 through 10 meter uh, multi-mode uh, transceiver um, that uh, 
is sold for about $100 US, give or take. And uh, it's a really popular for those who like to put together kits. Um, some would say this isn't really a kit. I tend to sort of agree with that. It's, one of, it's like one of those things where you buy those kids' toys and it says some assembly required. Um, as you'll see when we open up the board here, oh wow, that's a nice looking uh, board. This is the meat of the unit, and uh, as you can see, everything, most, most of the components are surface mount, um, so it comes all pre-assembled, and you basically just have to wire up the buttons, the Raduino, and the, uh, uh, put, uh, create yourself a microphone. Um, they do provide the little electric mic, um, which I'm assuming is in this bag here somewhere. Yep. So they do provide a little mic cartridge, which you can use to uh, create your own microphone. All of the uh, wiring harnesses, cables, everything are all included. Uh, we even have the power jack and connector. And the one thing I don't have to go with this is I did order a an enclosure on Banggood, and uh, hopefully that'll get here soon. Um, I just ordered a plastic enclosure with a uh, uh, with it's got like a little uh, carrying handle sort of thing or whatever that you can flop that you can put down and use it to to prop up the front of the enclosure as well. Um, it's kind of the standard. Um, I think I paid about. 12 or 13 dollars Canadian for it and uh, it's what's recommended it fits this board and the accessories uh, almost perfectly and that's what most of the folks are using that are building these uh, especially the first timers like myself um, I'll admit um, I'm not really that much of an electronics person I'm more of a software computer guy but uh, I am looking to get into more of these uh, more of these uh, <clears throat> units and uh, looks like uh, I'm not sure if you can see that uh, but it looks like we have a possibly a serial number or something on there for 478 and looks like possibly some initials so could be uh, one of the folks who um, or maybe that just says SN either way uh, could be initials could be just I mean it's a serial number but it's written directly on the board with permanent marker and uh, the quality of it looks fairly well. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about these. And there's a huge community online of folks that uh, modify and uh, hack these things to bits. So, um, <clears throat> all said and done, I think the specs uh, say that this is rated at about 10 watts um, on a single sideband. And I believe most people get somewhere around there out of it, possibly. Uh, um, a little bit less depending on uh, the build and the uh, your setup and everything but uh, it looks like uh, we should be able to get somewhere around 10 watts out of this once we have it fully assembled and uh, I've built some small kits on my own before uh, primarily just the small little kits like you buy on eBay or those Chinese sites that uh, you know the little QRP uh, CW rigs or Something of the sort. Um, I've put together a portable um, oscilloscope as well. Um, something that I bought online as well a few years ago, but uh, I haven't uh, I don't, haven't had a whole lot of experience with it uh, with electronics. So we're going to start looking into that a bit more and uh, learn a little bit about it. All of the documentation for the unit is all provided online uh, on the hfsignals.com. I think it is, and uh, you can. Um, you can get the uh, schematics, the build instructions, everything right on uh, on the website. So they don't necessarily include that with uh, with the unit, but that's uh, perfectly fine because it's just as easy to uh, have a right next to my uh, recording setup here. I have a computer with a couple of monitors on it that I can use for for that. So. Um, anyways, just a quick look at the uh, Micro Bidex. Um, hopefully I'll get a chance to post some more videos once I get it uh, built up or maybe even some videos of me trying to put the darn thing together. So we'll see what happens and uh, hopefully we'll be up and running. Um, what I intend on doing with this after is I do intend on using this, uh, this radio out uh, 
if you've seen my previous video where I did a uh, uh, an unboxing of the um, WeBoost uh, cell phone signal booster um, that's going to go out to where we're going to have our trailer at uh, my parents' cottage this summer. Um, we're looking at uh, probably bringing this guy out here as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have to pick up uh, an antenna and uh, or we'll have to get an antenna set up. Um, I do have some extra wire and stuff laying in the yard so I'll probably build something to at least get on uh, 20 and maybe 40 meters while we're out there. So Anyways, um, that is the uh, first look at the micro bit X that I got today. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to uh, post them in the uh, comment section below. And uh, I'm always open to uh, having a chat in the comment section there. So thank you very much and 73 for now.